Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Admin Bar. We're going to be going through uh, setting up Project Huddle today for the first time for Matt. Uh, I'm kind of a veteran now, so I'm going to try to walk him through this, even though I haven't set it up originally in about a year or so. Uh, but we decided while he was going to do this, it would be a good time for us to kind of show, show off how it all works for those of you who haven't tried it and show everybody kind of how I have things set up in my starter site, which is kind of interesting and works really nice in my workflow. So, hello, Matt. How are you doing today? I'm pretty pumped, man. It's been uh, far too long or it, uh, not having this. Like, I, I need some some way for somebody to, to log in and leave me notes on their site. Um, one client in particular, I'm, I'm pumped. Let's do this. I'm super excited for the day when you're like, Oh man, I can't believe that I've been doing this so long without this. So yeah, I know that, that day that is fast approaching. Yeah, I know that conversation's coming. So uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes before you realize the error of your ways, sir. All right. Oh, so, I already uh, know the errors of my ways, man. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's more just procrastination. That's that's my uh, my dragon. Well, I'm glad having Andre on the show gave you the kick in the ass you needed. Yes, thank you, Andre. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's do this. Uh, let me just share my screen here. Yeah. So basically the only thing we did before we started this recording is Matt set up an install where he's going to use this as his dashboard site. So Project Huddle needs a dashboard. Uh, it's, it's kind of your home base for all your Project Huddle projects. Uh, so that's recommended to just do on its own install. So Matt set one up here for himself. He's got that set up and then he has his actual starter site, which he uses to clone to start a new project. Um, so he's got that set up and that's all we've done so far and downloaded the plugin. Uh, so other than that, we're not going to show you how to download a plugin. We're just going to jump into it. So let's start on your dashboard site and install make this one default for the time being because they look exactly the same. I'm going to get yeah, confused you. here. There we go. All right. Okay. There you go. All right. So go on your dashboard site and go ahead and install the, uh, the project huddle plugin. Awesome. Easy. I've done that. I know how to do that. Let's do it. Upload. We'll see. Drag and drop install. How about this new UI? I, you know what? It doesn't bother me a bit. I almost didn't notice it. Yeah. A lot of people are saying like, it's uh, it's like a flashback to, you know, like older styles and stuff. I kind of like the way that the buttons and the, uh, all, all the, all the little clicky ass, it, it, it's, it, it's, kind of it's more fun tech looking. Yeah. I don't mind it. All right. So now you can see over on the left-hand side of your menu, you have project huddle in there. Oh, look um, at that. Look at that. All right, it. so go ahead and hit the over. Okay, you're in there. Uh, so <laughs> I don't really think there's too much you need to set up on this, honestly. Um, what we're going to actually be doing is connecting it to, you know, your starter site, which it's the same process of connecting it to a client site. I just circumvent having to do that over and over again by putting it into my starter site. So when I clone the starter site, it's already there. All I have to do is connect it. Um, so what I usually do is I would just install the child plugin, like the, uh, the client part of the plugin on your starter site. So if you just go to the plugins, add new, it's in the repository. And I think it's just, you can probably just search project huddle. And I think it's like project huddle client. Oh, man, every, every time, server. every time this gets me, I go to add a new one and I start searching rather than uh, clicking add new. I thought you said you knew how to do this. I mean, I do, but everybody's got, they've got a blind spot. Maybe that's a UX problem. So install that. Yeah, we got to get uh, Pisha over here and, and start criticizing uh, WordPress, WordPress core. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so I would not allow guests to comment, but that's an option there. Um, you can also white label this. For me, I, I really don't care. Like it just says feedback on the client site and that's pretty white labeled to me. Uh, but you could call this, you know, Matt's feed, Matt's completely unique. Nobody else has a feedback system uh, <laughs> if you wanted to. Uh, the, me, whoa, how cool is this plugin? Right. So uh, for me, there's no need. Now you can uh, eliminate who can comment. Um, uh, not necessary for me uh, because it's just me and my client. I, I restrict it on the other side where only people logged in can comment anyways. We'll get to that. So go ahead. Yeah, and I think just because it's a starter site and I may forget, I'll definitely turn off subscriber uh, sure. because, you know, I don't want some of my, my retail customers getting, uh, getting all of this stuff. Right. All right. So hit save changes on that. And then we're going to go back to your dashboard site. 
And we're going to hover over Project Huddle and hit new website. Oh, intuitive. And we'll call it starter site. I think that would make sense. And then copy your URL to your starter site. Oh, boy. Yeah. That long cloud ways. That's why I just put it on a subdomain. All right, there you go. Hit next. And it's a WordPress site. That it is. And then you'll have to put in your username and password to that site. Okay, so Matt found his username and password, and you can press connect and install the child plugin. The, ins the child plugin's already installed, so it's just going to connect. You hit verify. Matt's breezing through this. Okay, so it's pretty much done now. So there are a couple options you can look at. Uh, over on the right, project options. There's bottom right or bottom left. Uh, I keep the little thing on the bottom right. It's just where the toolbar shows up. Um, so, okay. that's, so that's, that's the front end toolbar, correct? Yeah, exactly. Um, and then let's see if you scroll down a little bit. So let's go back over to your, your starter site. And let's go view the front end of it. And we should see, boom, <gasps> there you go. Whoa, uh, how cool so is that? That is the little animation people will see when they, uh, when they, your customers will see when they want to give feedback. It's pretty self-explanatory to leave a comment, click the plus icon, then click anywhere on the page. So let's try it. Okay. So plus, plus icon, icon, click anywhere, anywhere on, the page, on the page, add a comment. Whoa, this is a boring page. Exactly. Okay. So you will see here before you add comment, Ooh. you see your little icon there. Notifying. Okay. So, yep. So, um, because you're the you're you're the admin and you're connected to the the uh, the dashboard site, you're going to get notifications when things go on here. There are a bunch of notification settings in there. Um, this, if you hit add comment, you'll see this comment was added by you because Matthew is who's logged into the site. But let's do something. Uh, let's do something more here so we can see what it looks like for the client and how I set this up for my oh, client. So let's you go can back. reposition after you've made that comment too, huh? Yeah, absolutely. That's nice. Um, so go back into the back end of this starter site and go to users and let's add a new user as if it was your client, right? And we'll go okay. back and delete this afterwards. Okay, so the toolbar is not popping up. That's good. We don't want it to come up on the front end when people aren't logged in. Okay, so now I'm gonna log in as if I was the customer because I got a fancy login from Matt and now I want to view my site. And now if I, since I'm logged into this site as my username, I can reply to this comment and it'll be from me. Um, you'll see, boom, Kyle is awesome. Uh, I could add a new comment, cool. Uh, don't know what this is. <laughs> boom, comment, they're all from Kyle. Perfect, so all that seems to be working. So you did notice when you sent me the login uh, or when you sent me, when you, you gave me the login, I went and logged in. It took me into the back end of the site because that's what happens after you go to your domain forward slash WP admin. Yeah, so, no, I definitely want to redirect that somewhere else. Yeah, so what I've actually done is I've set up a, a splash page on my starter site, okay? So uh, I set up a page that's it's kind of branded. It's got my colors and stuff like that. And I've, I've seen put it. A, it looks great. I put an Elementor form uh, in there, an Elementor login form. And then in the settings of that form, you can have it just redirect to wherever you want it to go. So I just have it redirect to the front end. And then also when I set up my customer's users, like when you set up my username, if you go back in and edit that user, you'll see a thing, a little checkbox you can put in there for hiding the toolbar. So you're, you're going to hide the, uh, the admin bar at the top for your clients. So then that way they never have to see the back end that it even exists. So I just send, I, I'll then go set that splash page. I'll put the website in coming soon or maintenance mode. Uh, and then put that splash screen as a screen to show when they go to the URL. So we can set it up on like a dev URL, client name.ogleweb.com or whatever I set it up at. When they just go to that not logged in, it comes to the login screen. When they log in, it redirects them to the actual design I've made uh, on the homepage. They can't see the back end at all. Uh, so really, they don't need to do anything but use that simple login uh, and then they can do all the, the feedback and stuff. Why don't we... Uh, 
before that's pretty much everything set up but before we uh, uh yeah there's, there's one thing that i'm curious about for sure okay. um and that's going to be that uh while uh, while we were doing all of this, I just got inundated with emails. Let's yeah. not have that happen every time a client decides to leave me a, a note. Okay, so why don't you share your screen again and go back into your dashboard site and we'll look at all those settings. Okay, so go into users and then find my user uh, for Kyle, which would be your customer. Hit edit and then scroll down towards the bottom. It's gonna have some email notification settings. Um, so. There, there are some limited ones here right now. What I've done in the past is actually turn off all the email comments for my customers and then just email them personally when I'm done making a bunch of changes and tell them to go look at it. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's better than them getting a bazillion emails. Now, as we're recording this, Project Huddle has a beta version, which is going to allow you to batch emails and say, uh, I want emails to go out, you know, uh, no more than one an hour or something. So if you do a bunch of changes after an hour, it will send all those changes in one like recap email, which I think is brilliant and perfect. That's exactly what I want. Yep. Yeah. And so what I've done for myself is I kind of want the notifications for every single change. I want to know when those are happening. Right. Uh, I've actually set my user up as a different email address than the email address I do all my daily work in. I have a special email address I use for Project Huddle where all of those go into a different inbox. So that way I'm not having to like dig through that with all my other stuff. It's just like a private inbox just for my Project Huddle stuff. That and that's sense. helped me out a lot. Um, I like having all those emails so I can kind of make sure I'm going through all those tasks. Um, I guess there's one more thing we could look at before uh, before we get this done and get out of here. If you want to go look at your dashboard site again, uh, you'll have to share your screen. I'm on it. Okay, well, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> All so, right, so dashboard. Yeah, so go to Project Huddle and then uh, Websites. Or actually, just go to Overview. Overview. You can look at it there. So you'll see here, every task we've added goes into this overview. And from here, you can click on those and see more information. Um, so it will tell you if there's replies and all that, you can resolve it from right there. Uh, you can go straight to it. I don't know what you clicked at all. Yeah, um, I'm location. just clicking things. Um, yeah, so you can do all that from right there. Now, if you had multiple websites, you know, you're managing several projects at one time, all of those would show up in this master task list and you can go through here and sort these by which project they are and stuff like that, which is, which is pretty awesome. Very cool. You can show resolved if there are any, yep. uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, it's uh, it's super helpful. And there's just, there's almost no training you have to give your customer other than go to your page, log in and then point and click. Yeah, like man, the rest of it's pretty intuitive. If you'll see, uh, uh, that's okay. You went off of it. Oh no, we can uh, go back to it. Yeah, let's, why not? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, if you click on one of the, click on the Matthew task, the whoa, this page is boring one. Um, if you go to details, you'll see that it's taken a screenshot of what the site looked like when you added that that uh, note. So this is super helpful. It gives you all these details here about the browser they're using, the browser size, operating system, uh, and a an actual screenshot. Because sometimes your client's seeing one thing and you're seeing another, and it's then you gotta explain to them how to take a screenshot and send it to you. This way you have all those so you can see exactly what they were seeing. Because it's hmm. taking the screenshot from their point of view. Uh, which is super helpful when you start dealing with like responsive views and stuff like that. Uh, they might have a weird size screen. Man, that is, that is great. Yeah. So hopefully Andre can probably hop in the comments of this video and tell us what I got wrong in here. Um, I, I was using project huddle and when I first set it up, like I said, was, I know it was a year ago cause I just renewed my license. So, uh, when I set everything up, I kind of set my settings and then have just rolled with it. And since then he's done a lot of updates to the system. Um, so I'm, I'm sure I might still be doing some things backwards, uh, and maybe he can help us out with that. And then, like I said, the new updates that are coming in the, be the beta version where you can kind of batch some of these email responses is something that I think is going to be super valuable. So I can say that uh, just as a first time user, I mean, yes, I've been really excited about this and, uh, and all that. But 
my first initial impressions here is that one, it looks gorgeous. It's yeah. like both the back end and the front end are just super well designed. Um, it's minimal. It's like, it's, it's what it needs to be and nothing, nothing, nothing more. more like that's perfect for this type of a thing. Um, the, you know, the front end, the, the, the side that the, the, the client's going to see is gorgeous. It's super simple. Again, like the last thing we want to do is, is complicate matters on something that's supposed to be uncomplicating. But I'm also like kind of digging around here and looking at, uh, you know, you can assign uh, tasks to people. So if you have like a larger team, like there you go. Like this is, this is super cool. It's, uh, it's minimal but robust at the same time. I'm, I'm psyched. I agree. Uh, I will show you here. I pulled up one of my sites. I have this set on. So this is the, this is actually on one of my starter sites, uh, my Generate Press starter site. Um, so this is what I have set up as the the coming soon page, and I've just defaulted this. So if you're not logged in and you go to this, you're going to see this login screen. So I just made up my colors. I have a little Ogle Ogle logo. Uh, if they log in here, uh, let's see. If you log in using this form, it's just going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just going to redirect to the front end, right? So I just have some like styling options on this starter site. Um, but it just will re-log into the front end. Now, if this is a client, I'd have this toolbar turned off. Uh, so what's really nice is, you know, they don't have to see any of that back end interface, especially while you're like developing a site. You don't want to introduce all that to them. And this is just a nice way to hide it from everybody. Nobody can actually see what you're developing unless they have a login to it. Um, you're just in the, uh, the case that anybody out there doesn't know, um, how do you hide that from them? The, um, the, the admin bar. Uh, so let's see. I don't know that I have. Let me see if I have another user in here. I'll see if we're able to do it on mine or not. So if you go into users, okay, here it is, uh, show toolbar when viewing site. So if you unclick that um, and then save this, go to the front end. Um, now the WordPress toolbar is gone. Now, yep. obviously I like to have that, but I don't want my clients to see it. Absolutely. Uh, I, will, I will say too, like now that you have this installed on your start, starter site, when you clone your starter site, to start a new project for a customer. You have customer X who signed up, right? And you need to get the project going for them. Clone your starter site, and then you'll have to go into your dashboard, go to project huddle, add new, and do that little quick setup you did where you just paste the URL in there, click continue, continue, whatever, um, and then log in, and then everything's connected. You don't have to set up users in your, your dashboard site if you don't want to. All that can just be done on your client site. Your client probably needs to log into their site anyways. So uh, I've literally just wrote down step by step the procedure of like clone site, change URL, add user. <laughs> like I have a step by step thing I can just roll through and have the entire, not only the entire starter site ready to go, but have all my project huddle stuff done, you know, within a couple minutes, the whole thing's ready to go. Man, that's awesome. I'm so psyched. And uh, once I get this installed on the, the one client that I'm thinking of, uh, as well as many others, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll report back for sure and say like how, uh, how the experience was and, and more importantly, what they thought of it, because like, you know, I'm super psyched. I can get excited about this stuff, but at the end of the day, if the client's like, whoa, what is this? This doesn't, this doesn't jive with me, then yeah, th there's going to be an issue there. I have a strong in uh, inkling that they're going to be really happy with it. So that'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I know the client you're talking about is actually somebody where you're not developing a site for them. You already developed a site for them. So you're using this more in like a care plan capacity, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this, uh, this business has a new marketing manager. And after she came on, there's some tweaks that she wants to make. And, you know, they're, they're smart tweaks. They're great. But it's, uh, it's kind of difficult because she just she kind of hopped in in the middle of uh, after, you know, this, this client's been a client for like two years now. So she, did, you know, the communication's a little bit off because she hasn't been educated in the way that I do things. So this is just going to make things super easy for both her and myself. Yeah. Click the plus, plus button, click on the site, type what you want. Done. I like that. That's yeah. good.
All right. So Andre, get back with us uh, if I messed anything up or if you have something to add on this. And if anybody has any questions, uh, Andre is in the group. Uh, he'll be glad to help you out. I'm sure I'll help you out. And they have a pretty damn awesome 40% off deal for Black Friday. So make sure you check that out. All right. I guess that is all for now. We will see you all inside the group. Bye-bye.